Hello, good evening, I'm Odie Apparatus, and welcome to Observation. This game is very cool looking. Uh, it is a sci-fi thriller where it's basically like, it looks like 2001 A Space Odyssey, except we're playing as HAL 9000. We're going to be playing as the, the ship's control systems, basically, trying to investigate a mystery, finding out what happened to the crew, uh, follow around with the exploits of the, the remaining survivors, uh, trying to just kind of unravel what's going on. Um, this is created by No Code and published by Devolver Digital. No Code previously did Stories Untold, so if you played that game, you know what to expect from this kind of thing. The No Code makes very non-traditional kind of games, very interesting stories layered on top of just messing with perspective, messing with gameplay mechanics. They really do a great job with this. Uh, and Stories Untold, I just played it on stream the other night and it was it was a fantastic experience and I'm looking forward to this one today. So we'll play through the entire game here. Uh, spoilers, everything like that, you know, play it for yourself if you want to experience the true, true, you know, experience here. Uh, it is on Epic Game Store. You can use my code if you want to help out the channel a little bit. But otherwise, if you want to just sit back and enjoy the game, have at it. Here we go. We're going to find out what observation is all about. Low orbit space station observation, 110 kilometers above Earth. So it's the ISS. Houston, do you copy? Houston, come in. This is Dr. Emma Fisher on board Observation Horizon Arm. Please respond. Okay. We've had some sort of accident, a uh, collision or something, maybe. I don't know. The station is spinning, but I can't tell if we're falling towards Earth. I, I, I can't get a visual from here. Josh, Ailsa, someone, report in. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, Sam. I need you to give me admin access. Enable voice authentication. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Analyze. Is it really her? We'll find out. Voice print error is detected. Uh, I can reject it. There's errors. Reject it. Come on, Sorry, Emma. Try again. Voice authenticate. Do it better. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. That's clearer. Yes. We're not going to take, you know, subpar audio from her. There we go. Okay. Buy the book. Systems Administrator and Maintenance. <laughs> I like this. Response mode, R. No active objective. Uh, respond. I am here. Ooh, <gasps> nice. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Sam, you seem to have booted up in Module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in Module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Okay. Great. Listen, 
I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in Module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on Module 9? We have to, we have to do further diagnostics. Okay. Module 9, she said. Pressure to safe, power low, call contacts true. I said, this looks okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. She said she's module 11. Everything looks good there. Can I do R for response again? Okay, Module respond. Nine is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from nine intact? Module nine hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good. We're still I like it. This is cool. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Up to ten. False. Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false. Suggesting that module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in module 12. Oh boy. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. So she's in 11, she's coming through to 9 right now. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Aren't responding. Mm. See if you can restore power. Sam, are you still there? I'm. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Don't mind me. I'm just having an episode. What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Bring her. Sam, a response. What the hell is going on? Bring her. Oh boy. Are we in a contact situation? If I see receive transmissions from an alien, uh, an alien entity that I can only I can decode, I have to send her into into space. That would be a fascinating thing to see happen. Is she okay? I can't do anything. Uh, You're right there. You good? What just happened? I, oh, I think I blacked out. Sam, run your self-diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, run. Am I gonna actually tell her if there's anything wrong with me? No. Relocation network error, diagnose, memory core error, root tracking error. So run network check to test all station modules so I can find out what's wrong here. Module relocation network is non-operational. Crew assist required. So if they have to move me from place to place. Relocation functions are offline. I require auto routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. No, then I can jump myself then, okay. Let's diagnose and memory core, core error. All cores active. Can I repeat that? Oh, we're going to have to scan still. I see. 95% degradation. That's not good. Mm. How, much, how honest should I be with her about this stuff? I don't even know. I don't want her to turn me offline. The 
main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. Indeed. Let's check the crew tracker. Connection failed. Oh boy. Okay, we got a we got a location sensor array established. That's good. I get. I think that one's good. Hey, green is good. We just can't identify any of the crew. Oh, that's fun. The connection between crew tracker functionality and Sam OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from module 9. Okay. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Uh, WSD to rotate, mouse to zoom. Oh, it's the middle mouse to zoom. Switch camera, QE. Disconnect to Sam OS. Was that sphere available? Interesting. Response, system links. Okay. Can I possess the sphere? Did say that. I don't have any other angles. It's this Q and E to switch angles, but I can't uh, switch them. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Oh, this is cool. It's so limited as far as like, you know, you can't interact fully with the world around you, but you get to, like it says, observe, observation. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. Oh, she can watch what I'm seeing. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. There we go. Sam West procedure system link reset shows terminal input code TIC that allows a crew member to reset Sam's system link functionality in the event of a software failure. Warning: this procedure will require a reconnection to all system links station wide. Only perform after a full reset. Okay. Oops. Uh, X back. Backspace. Okay. That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Combustion unit? Do I need to have access to that? Can I get access to that? What's the laptop? Here we go. I'm gonna get out of the Wi-Fi. Okay. Now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. EAS-11 hatch controls. It's over here. It's tough being a computer. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. I want to add this one too.
So use my system controls to open hatch. Oh, there we go. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Trying to help. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? Sam, our internal communication network is fully online. Hmm? What does that mean? Where has everyone gone? Hmm. So everyone we can oh, everyone can hear you, but they're not they're not here. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. Oh, good. Sam you can OS. now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds in the EAS arm at least. Oh, nice. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam. There's fire in EAS 4. Something, maybe? It's bright in there. ES4, let's try this out. Yep, we're here. There is a fire out of control in EAS4. Shit, I'm on my way. Can I get like a airlock thing going on? Like purge the oxygen from the cell? I don't think she should come in here. They have the hatch controls. Two for one. Schematics. Schematics not. Re Schematics not found. Okay. Can I take control of a fire suppressor? Can't do that. Mm, what's she gonna do? Oh, I should be watching what she's doing here. Got it, and go. It's open. I'm on my way. She's coming through five now. EAS three. I'll need your help when I get there. Food preparation area. Oh, that's like, uh, uh, okay, we gotta open this one up. You sure you want me to do this? Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door on three. Are you ready? No. One. Two, three. Here we go. Say, come on. We did it. Sam, <coughs> get the vents on in here. Uh, yeah. Hear these fumes. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna get that done right now. 
vents, 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 vents. I'm trying. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? Mm. The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Yeah. Overall, that's not too bad. Doesn't look good. Considering. Yeah, you had a fire blazing in here. It's not that bad. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Let's look around here. See if I see a source. Maybe from here? Several of the storage lockers have been severely damaged by the fire. Good to know. Can you find the source of the fire though, please, Sam? Oh, this panel right here, what is this? Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. Mm. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Uh oh. Or oil. Don't touch space grease. Dark red. There's maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. Um... ES-12. There is significant stress being applied to EAS. Oh, that was what's not the connected. separation recommended. Yeah, that, that wasn't securely connected before. I did mention that. Please. If there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. Sorry. We're going to have to do it. This is getting much worse. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay. First, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. Okay. 1442413324. I didn't catch all that. Sam, come on! Sorry. Authorization 1442413324. Uh, two, nine, zero, three, <laughs> four, one. It's hectic. It's nine. hectic. I'm sorry. Got it. In There's a lot of numbers all at once. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Okay. Sam, target huh? the jets in the correct sequence. Oh, God. We don't have much time. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hectic. Sam. We've stopped spinning. We've stabilized. I think I think we're okay. Listen, I'm going to relocate you to the external cameras and see if we can get a better view of the station. Or what's left of it. Okay. External cameras to recom. Let's get a view of the damage. The signals are weak and distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? Not from this angle? What is that? 
EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. Cut out of it, yeah. Not quite what I'm looking at. Not quite sure what I'm looking at here. Switching to a different camera. We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look quite right. Uh, let's see. Can't really see much from this one. There's some structural damage. The CN arm is badly damaged. It's mangled though, right? What else we got? Can't really see what's going on down there. That doesn't look right though. Oh, there we go, fire damage. There is minor exterior damage to module EAS-4, likely due to the internal fire. Yeah, I think we got lucky there. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. Okay, we're gonna be crashing to Earth here? Oh my God. Uh, that's... That's not Earth. Uh, Saturn, of course, the ringed planet. I brought you here. Who? It seems. Oh, why? What? Why? Black box entry. Message received. I can't. I can't respond. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. That was cool. That was a great start. Oh man, I'm excited. This is gonna be amazing. 